Inviting Collusion in Public Procurement As part of its activities, the Peruvian government needs to acquire lots of goods and services. For instance, medicines and equipment for hospitals, or books and computers for schools. The best way to determine the suppliers of those goods and services is by means of public procurement bids, where potential suppliers compete by offering better quality and price. However, there are dishonest suppliers that agree with their competitors not to bid their best offers and make an illegal profit at the expense of the state and the Peruvian citizens. Let's see. Hey, miss, have you seen the state's last tender? Yes. So what do you think if we agree that you will bid high this time so I can win? And then in the next call, I will bid high so you can win. What do you say? Under the Competition Act, if two or more competitors agree to establish a system of bid rotation, they would be deemed liable for anti-competitive practices and will be sanctioned. Look, don't worry. How about if we agree that I won't participate in the tenders in the north of Peru so that you can win there and you promise the same for me in the south. This way, each one gets their piece of the cake. That's also illegal. The Competition Act provides that market sharing among competitors constitutes a severe infringement and the participants will be heavily fined and banned from contracting with the state. Okay, okay. Look, we don't have to split regions. We can split customers, just customers. What do you think if I let you win an entity standard all the time and you let me win another public body standards? That's also illegal. The Competition Act... Ah, look, buddy. You know what? Let's not coordinate in tenders if you don't want to. How about if we only agree to quote high when the state performs its market research to determine its reference values? That can be wrong. Actually, it is wrong. Here it says that agreeing to quote high in public procurements, market studies is prohibited. Everything is forbidden! We can't do anything! They don't want us to participate in public procurement! That's false! What is prohibited is to engage in anti-competitive agreements. It's a duty for bidders like us to compete in public tenders. I heard enough of your schemes and I'm not interested. I'm going to compete in public procurement and I'm going to win with quality products and services at good prices. Certainly, collusion in public procurement is illegal. Agreements among competitors in public procurement in order to arrange a bid rotation system, engage in geographical or client allocation, agree to quote high or simply not quote, are among others anti-competitive practices that are prohibited by law. Every year, these actions of dishonest companies generate significant losses for the state, affecting its possibilities to provide better services for the citizens, and especially for those in need. Suppliers who carry out these anti-competitive practices will be fined and may be banned from contracting with the state in the future. If you're a public official with responsibilities in public procurement, you should be aware of any of these extremely harmful practices. Take on in the copy's guide to fight collusion in public procurement to learn more about these illegal practices and how to help to fight them. You can use the checklist included in this guide to identify signs of potential anti-competitive behavior. And you can also contact in the copy to report the existence of these indications or to receive guidance to encourage more competition in the processes run by your public entity.